tractor is the most widely used and most representative agricultural machinery in the world. It is durable and simple in structure. Only by replacing parts according to the purpose of work, can realize multiple functions such as plowing, harvesting, sowing, transportation, etc., which greatly liberated the dependence of traditional agriculture on manpower and animal power, and promoted agricultural progress. When it comes to tractor powers in the world today, apart from developed countries in Europe and the United States, there is another country that is also very strong. That is India. Why has India, with a weak industrial base, become a big tractor country, even stronger than China? How many more years will it take for China to surpass India in this field? Today, let's talk about the tractor strength of India and China. Okay, let's get started. In 2019, Zambia, an African country, invited global public tenders for medium-sized agricultural tractors below 80 horsepower to meet the country's agricultural needs. At that time, Western companies keen on high-power tractors did not respond much. This gives opportunities to Chinese companies. Shanghai Camco Machinery and Equipment Limited, which has been cultivating the African market for many years, confidently participated in the bidding with its own products, thinking that it could win the bid without the presence of European and American agricultural machinery companies. How? Zambia chose the products of India's Mahindra. Afterwards, Camco had to admit in an interview that compared with Indian tractors, Chinese tractors do not have much advantage, and the market share occupied by Indian tractors in Africa may be more than twice that of China. In fact, Indian tractors have not only entered the Zambian market, but are also popular in third world countries in Latin America, South Asia, and the Middle East. Even the United States, which has the strongest agricultural machinery technology, imports a large number of Indian tractors every year. The Minister of Industry and Commerce of India has stated that between April and December 2021, 25.2% of the tractors exported by India will flow into the United States. Not only that, Indian tractors are often seen in the Chinese market where the demand for agricultural machinery is strong. According to an article released by the Italian Agricultural Machinery Manufacturers Association, the global output of agricultural tractors in 2021 exceeded 2.2 million units. Among them, the United States produced 318,000 units, European countries combined produced 180,000 units, China produced 599,000 units, and India produced more than 900,000 units. There is no doubt that India is the world's largest tractor manufacturer this year. It is precisely because Indian tractor manufacturers have achieved such outstanding achievements that developed country manufacturers such as Kubota of Japan also hope to realize their dream of entering the African market through cooperation with Indian companies. So, how did Indian tractors rise? In my opinion, there are three main reasons why the Indian tractor industry can grow and develop. First, its development started early and it has rich experience. As early as the beginning of India's independence in the 1940s, a number of local agricultural machinery companies had emerged in the country. The Green Revolution launched by the Indian government in the 1960s aimed at increasing crop yields also brought huge market demand for tractor companies in the country and created a favourable environment. By 1970, the annual output of tractors in India exceeded 20,000 units, and the number of tractors in the country exceeded 146,000 units. Driven by the increasingly fierce competitive pressure, they set their sights on the international market again. Therefore, since 1980, Indian agricultural machinery companies have gone overseas market one after another, starting with Africa, Nepal, Bangladesh and other places that were not yet deeply occupied by developed countries at that time, and opened up markets, making India a net exporter of tractors, with sales all over the world. Second, maintaining technical exchanges and cooperation with international counterparts has greatly improved Indian technical level. 
India had a good relationship with the Soviet Union during the Cold War. At that time, it received a lot of agricultural machinery technical assistance from the Soviet Union and Eastern European countries. In addition, for the purpose of developing the Indian market, top-notch agricultural machinery companies in the West also went to India to conduct business and transfer technology from the 1970s to the 1990s. Over time, the production skills of Indian tractor manufacturers have naturally improved. Third, India's overseas strategy has been very successful. In the third world countries in South Asia, Southeast Asia, Africa and other places, most of the people work as individuals or families to cultivate small pieces of farmland. They do not have much capital and demand to buy high-power tractors from developed countries, but prefer to buy a small and medium-power tractor with low price, low failure rate and low operation difficulty. The tractors exported from India are exactly these small and medium-sized wheel tractors with less than 100 horsepower. Not only are these tractors smaller, they also consume less fuel and are less difficult to handle. Moreover, India can also lower the price of tractors than developed countries by virtue of its cheaper labor costs than developed countries. This is why farmers in third world countries choose Indian tractors one after another. All in all, it is completely reasonable for Indian tractors with rich experience, technical support and successful export tactics to achieve today's achievements. Then, how about China? Like India, China is a third world country, and it also has huge tractor production capacity and market demand. However, compared with India, China's tractor development started later, and its overall strength is slightly inferior. China's first domestically produced tractor came out in 1958, about a decade after India. When Indian tractors entered the overseas market in the 1980s, China had just entered the era of reform and opening up. Tractor technology lagged behind major industrial countries. The majority of rural areas used walking tractors as the main agricultural machinery, and export was impossible. When the new century comes, Chinese tractor technology has made some achievements, and when it goes overseas market, Indian tractors have already taken the lead. Now, let's compare the leading companies between again. The two largest tractor manufacturers in China, Wei Chai Lovol and YTO, have total assets of 16.1 billion and 14.2 billion yuan respectively, and their operating income in 2021 was 10.5 billion yuan and 17 billion yuan respectively. India's Mahindra has total assets of more than 21 billion US dollars, approximately 146.2 billion renminbi, and its revenue in 2021 was approximately 6.1 billion US dollars, approximately 42.5 billion renminbi. As for John Deere, the world's largest agricultural machinery giant, its total assets are as high as 75 billion US dollars and its revenue in 2021 will be 37.3 billion US dollars. It can be seen that there is a big gap between Chinese tractor manufacturers in terms of asset scale and revenue capability. Technically, Chinese tractors also have bottlenecks in high power engines, power shift gearboxes, and CTV continuously variable transmissions. Some industry experts said that if Chinese tractors want to break through this bottleneck, they will have to wait until at least the 1930s. Now, with the advent of the post-epidemic era, the total global population has exceeded 8 billion, and the demand for food is increasing. Coupled with the gradual deepening of the agricultural modernization process in China, Africa, Latin America, Southeast Asia and other third world countries, the global agricultural machinery market demand will only be stronger than ever. So, when do you think Chinese tractors will surpass India? Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.